action. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hamilton's Hangar. I'm Che. We got Ashley on the camera. As usual, we got something special for you guys today, a little bit unexpected. Um, I got this on a really good deal. Um, this is the E-Flight 90mm Viper. Uh, I've never had a Viper before. So I actually got this one and the 70mm for just $500. This is a plug and play one. I don't know what motor's in here and I don't know what ESC's in here. So I'm pretty curious and I don't know what the plane looks like. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's brand new still. Uh, I was told that it was anyways. So yeah, I figured I would just like jump on those deals whenever you guys get a chance, right? So the 70mm is actually outside and it's brand making new. So I can't wait to check that one out. So without further ado, let's move forward. And please smash that thumbs up and subscribe if it's your first time here. We love everything RC, especially the Jets. Especially the Jets. All right. <laughs> and, you know, just to go inside this as well, we have a KM Models RC afterburner there, right there. Boom. Check that out. V4. Going to be absolutely awesome. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, yep. So make sure you guys check the video out on that. All right. So... Yeah, I haven't opened this up besides like slit it open just a little bit just to kind of get my eye on it, but I have not opened it up yet in full. I've only seen one of these in person one time. <coughs> Excuse me. You got it? Oh, yeah. Back to the box. All right, two pieces here. like what I mean yeah look at it absolutely ridiculously good condition wow I'm really like I like the foam on here a little bare foam finish there on the white you know what I mean but to somebody that wanted to go crazy they can just go over that but yeah lights we love lights yes so we yeah do. that's awesome so should be pretty Pretty easy setup with this. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, pretty nice sized bird here, guys. Mm -hmm. So let's just set that there for a second. Right there. Take the other wing out. Yeah. Rudder. Slide down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to fall. Bar. Wow, that's a nice spar. That is nice, yeah. I was thinking it. It's like two spars in one. It's heavy duty, wow. Okay, there's for the bottom pylons there. Yeah, I don't think this thing's ever been flown, guys. I mean, like, look at it. It's yeah, like, it's... Hold on, before I pull that out, let me pull these out. Fins, boom, boom, and boom. Wow. Okay, so I don't even know what like comes, yeah, what comes stock in this motor wise? Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder what's in your stock. Because I'm curious to open it up and look, and that's what we're gonna do. Overall, I'm very impressed with this finish. What do you think, babe? I really like it. Yeah, I believe this was bought as an ARF, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, just put into a power system there. It doesn't even look like it's been touched. Like, So absolutely awesome. Really good deal. Super, super good deal. Super happy um, to yes. check and check this out. I'm like really this happy. This is a nice bird. I like this. Yeah, wow. So these like go over the wing tips, you know. That one. I'm this really one. impressed. Yeah, I'm actually impressed by this too. These like slide on. Wow. Oh, that's cool. These slide on over top. Wow. Oh, like nice. that. I like that. I like how the Boom. wings like that. Just like that. That's neat. I like that a lot. It's got 
Easy plugs for the wings. I love that. Oh, seamless, yeah. seamless connections there, babe. I didn't realize. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. So no. Wait, it hasn't even been flown yet. So I'm over here thinking this is like a double spar and stuff like that, guys. This is like a spar that hasn't even been taken apart yet because there's two spars inside one. Wow. There you go. Easy peasy. So get that tape off there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, this is you don't want that tape on there. You don't want nothing obstructing it when you're putting it through. You know, because it's like a perfect fit. Boom, boom. Do they make any girls? What, pilots? Yeah. I mean, you should make, paint one. Well, you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll do that in the, uh, in the, uh, you know, the old, uh, what, T45 we had? Remember that one? That was yeah. Pink and the breast cancer scheme. That was awesome. So, yeah. Boom. I'll slap this one on. Wow, guys. I really like those wings. Yeah. Very impressed. Very impressed. Okay. It's like Before this part that. just really adds to it. Uh, it's okay. This bar just came out, so we gotta take the uh, hatch off. It's, all right. it's not going nowhere. Okay. On the toolbox here. There we go. There we go. I guess I better grab my transmitter too. And a battery. It's gonna need a battery. And we'll be flying this on an SMC 4400 pack. 6s high voltage 22.8 volts guys if you guys haven't flown on these yet they give it like a decent amount of power from what i've noticed so i haven't done like a comparison video on them or anything like that you know but overall wow i got the wrong side <laughs> good i know she's got love two, it. two millimeter it's two millimeters that's what it is Okay, so it's on a 1950 KV and does have a um, Spectrum ESC in there as well. You can see that orange down there. So awesome, I believe that is what this comes in on stock. So this thing's gonna fire like a bullet. I'm pretty excited. I'm actually super duper excited mm -hmm. to check this out. So yeah, um, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this all together real quick. And we'll probably just, you know, speed that up or something real fast. So I'm just gonna do that.
Wow. Nice and quick. Besides, like, you know, screws that need to go in real fast, but that's nothing. So. So now we're going to power her on and go from there. So, yeah. Got a whole mess of wires right here. So, that'll be something to take care of. There's a BEC right there. Throttle. Okay. So there's our aileron gear. And flaps. And here's our lights. So, very nice. Looks like he uses the same kind of tape that I use a little bit there. So, very cool. All right, looks like all the lights are good. Just wanted to double check the connections and make sure everything was good there. So, that's looking good. We also have a connection right here, which is the rubber connections. So there's everything right there. I like that there's a little shelf right here because we can put the gyro up there and then throw yeah. the receiver down there on the bottom in the back, you know? And yeah, essentially like, you know, just not seeing anything, which is cool. I always love that option. So without further ado here, let's go ahead and plug her in and yeah, bind this receiver to her real fast and then move forward. So as long as we're going to be seeing them, we're going to get plugged in. Let me guess they're good. She's all bound up. We'll go ahead and unplug it, and then we will. It's all right. It's just honking at us because we took the receiver off there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and plug everything else in. All right. So slight phone difficulty there, but we got that figured out. seem to be on this, like you know an auxiliary channel though like in terms of like a switch so we're just gonna roll with that see how that goes I don't really know what this is so we're gonna check that out but for now let's plug it back in calibrate th calibrate the throttle and then plug it back in or you know what I mean oh Look at those lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So we gotta reverse our, let's put the gear down and reverse our flap channel because I didn't have it set to the right way there when I just plugged it in. That's why the flaps were going down. That's why I lifted it up. So, wow, this is actually pretty big. Yeah. All right, so first gear test here. Gotta reverse the gear channel as well. Wow. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Um, good. First, let's reverse the. So let's reverse the. Uh, Flaps. There we go. Yeah, and then we'll set those on a quick delay of like, you know, 1.5 seconds. Cool. All right. I mean, awesome. <laughs> Guys, I can't beat this. It's like a six hundred fifty dollars when you buy new, like you know, with a with a receiver and stuff like that, obviously. So, um, which is something that we have to include ourselves. But for a brand new product here for four hundred bucks, guys, you just cannot beat it. I mean, look. Yeah. Look at that. Real nice suspension there. Real nice suspension. So, um, we also had to reverse the gear, but we'll do that, you know, soon. Yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to slap the afterburner in there, guys. It's gonna go in there like really easy. This thing is huge. I mean, it I can is. see why people convert this to a turbine. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, you know, you can fit your whole hand down here. Like, you can't do that with a lot of jets exhausts. No. You know? So wow, absolutely amazing. I'm like, let's just give us a quick little power test. <laughs> This thing looks mean. Yeah, right. I can't wait to get this one out there. Yeah, Maiden on this would be pretty fun, right, babe? Yeah. Wow. I'm really liking this one. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get a jetty receiver for this one and uh, you know, uh, get it up here like really soon. So I can't wait for that. We're gonna get a jetty receiver for it first. So not that I have anything against my stuff here, but I'm looking to put my stuff more back on the flight modes and things like that. So I just had to get some more receivers um, to be able to match some of these airplanes. So with that being said, um, we're gonna call it a night here. I'm Che, we got Ashley on the camera. Dynamic Duo back again with another video, guys, on Hamilton's hangar, another unboxing, another jet to come by here. Come flying by, I can't wait to fly this thing. I mean, I've seen lots of videos on it and it is fast. I've seen it fly once at my club by my buddy Justin and um, yeah, he flew the snot out of it, you know, and it takes off like, you know, not barely any, like, you know, what, 100 foot, something like that, you know, maybe less depending. So, and with the size of this thing, you know, it really opens up the door um, for larger battery sizes as well. So I'll make sure to fly something like, you know, 5300 or something like that as well, just aside from that. I really love it. You can take off the wing tips. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I know this thing has some stall tendencies and stuff like that, so it's just a couple things to be aware of. But yeah, smash that thumbs up and subscribe if it's your first time here, all right? And yeah, we're taking Ashley. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Boom.